Hi everyone, this is JP LaForest from Studio JPEG, and in this video I will be doing a demonstration of the On One DSLR Remote Pro software for the iPhone and iPad. Personally, I bought the iPhone version since I have the iPhone 4S, but I believe the iPad version does the same thing and even a bit more. But uh, for now, to give you an idea, when we're doing videos by ourselves, like I'm doing most of the time, one of the big problems I have is not being able to see exactly what the camera sees. One way I have been doing it in the past is with this little remote from Canon. And it has two options in the back, mode 1 and 2. So if I put it in photo mode, I can take a picture of myself as soon as I click the shutter, or I can set it with a timer. And that way I can sit down and take a picture, then go look at it and see if I'm happy with the results. Then I could put the same settings in the video mode. And while you're in the video mode, you can use this remote again to either start or stop the video and you can also use it to take a still photo during video mode by changing the little switch here. So while that was practical for what it does, it meant that anything I did I had to get up, go check the camera, and then reposition or change the settings, go sit down, and etc etc which is very time consuming and it's a lot of back and forth and it would end up taking me maybe 30 minutes to an hour to set up for a video before I can shoot it. So that's where this software comes in. Uh, you connect your camera to a computer or a laptop. Right now I'm using my Acer laptop and with this little software here, you can see exactly what the camera is seeing, but also you can see the settings of your shot. And if you don't want to see that, you can tilt it sideways and then the information disappears and you have a better view of what the camera is recording. So by using this, it was easier for me to do tests with the lighting equipment. I could just carry this around, go to my light and set it as I wanted to, and I could see the results immediately without having to go to the camera each time. And also when I'm sitting down, if I want to make sure I'm centered in the shot and not too much sideways or another side, and for example, the... Uh, Oops, sorry, the post uh, over here, I wanted to make sure that it didn't uh, pop up in the back of my head and look kind of weird, which are some things you have to watch for when doing a video. So with all those things, by using this little software here, I was able to make sure that my shots were good. And also, when you're in the picture-taking mode, I unfortunately cannot show you why while the camera is recording but you have access to all the settings like right now they're grayed out because of the video mode but while taking pictures you can change the aperture the shutter speed the ISO the white balance the size of your files the exposure compensation if your camera is in one shot or different types so all of those things are really practical when taking pictures also. Something that I intend to do in the future is behind me there's a bird feeder that uh, you can't see right now, but I will put up the laptop and the camera outside and set the shot up exactly the way I like it. And then I can be inside here where the birds don't see me and just click away anytime there's a nice picture that comes in. 
so that would be much less intimidating for the birds. Other options that come with this is an intervolumeter, and that allows you to take pictures with a certain timer in between each shot. So if you want, for example, one picture every minute, you can set it in the on one DSLR remote pro software and your camera will take a picture every minute and that way you can do very nice time-lapse videos for only uh, the price of this little software here. So that's a much better option than buying most of the other intervalometers or software and all that and if you buy a remote sometimes it can be maybe forty fifty dollars if you go for a rather cheap one or it can go all the way up to a few hundred dollars to do some time-lapse photography so this is a nice cheap option that uses your laptop or computer so if you already have one of those that's a great way to leverage it into your photography now I know that Canon does have a software that comes free with it and Nikon has one you can download I think the Nikon one has a fee but I'm not sure on those details but the Canon software lets you control the camera and you can take pictures and videos and all that with it so that is great if you're sitting at the laptop but right now I am using my 50 millimeter f 1.8 lens on a crop sensors camera so it's giving me actually an 80 millimeter equivalent in terms of the angle of view that I can see so I have to put the camera much further away and if I shot it using that software even though the laptop has an 18 inch screen and I can get uh, my wire wireless mouse connected to it no problem and I could control the camera that way and I could see on the laptop screen what is going on but one downside of that is the laptop is also a few meters away or probably about seven or eight feet away from me so even with an 18 inch screen it actually much smaller to my eye than if I bring it like this and with this thing too if you click anywhere on the picture I'm not sure if it works while it's recording we'll give it a try okay while it's recording it's not functioning but outside of recording if your lens is set on autofocus mode you can click on the image and the image will refocus so that's another great thing too that when you sit down you press the click and you can see exactly okay yes my image is in focus or if it's not you just click again and it's gonna refocus for you all right well I hope you enjoyed this video and find this useful I really believe this is a great tool for a lot of YouTubers out there that use a Canon or Nikon camera and you know it's really wonderful when you're a one main show and you don't have a separate camera main that can focus for you you don't have a focus puller you don't have somebody operating the ISO shutter speed and all that stuff you don't have a lightning guy and you don't have an audio guy so you kinda have to do everything yourself and that's what I've been doing most of the time and this way that's that can save you a lot of time a lot of energy and increase the quality of your videos thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time